Hello everybody. So, as you can see, I've absolutely shattered the digitizer on my phone, but thankfully the screen itself and all the internals are perfectly intact. But that's absolutely useless without a way to actually use the phone. My phone is a few years old now, and it's not really worth me getting a costly screen replacement. So I've used it as an opportunity to buy a new phone, which is now being delivered, and is far superior to my old phone. But there's still information on the phone that I want to get off the phone, and I can't do that with a broken digitizer. So, rather than getting the screen replaced professionally, I looked into replacing the screen myself but that would still cost me about £30, which is much cheaper than getting replaced professionally, but it's still more than I'd like to pay. Plus, with that, I've got the added risk of opening up the phone incorrectly and possibly causing further damage. So, I found a simple and cheap solution to the problem. And it's this. A very cheap adapter cable called a USB on-the-go cable, which you can pick up for about a pound on eBay. So, as you can see, one end of the cable plugs into the micro USB port on your phone and the other end is a standard USB port. What this USB port enables you to do is connect a standard USB mouse to your phone and control your phone via an on-screen mouse cursor uh, on your screen exactly like you would do with a desktop computer. It works pretty well and enables me to control my phone via an on-screen mouse, which is more than adequate for most simple tasks. Unfortunately, this trick will only work with an Android phone and it will only be useful if your screen itself is still working. Something to be aware of is that if your digitizer broke in a way that means it's permanently registering touch, then you'll have to disable the digitizer before you can use this method to control your phone. I found this method perfect for what I needed and allowed me to transfer my information I needed from my phone to my memory card so I can easily retrieve it, although this method could also be used for doing an online backup. So, this method worked well for me. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful to somebody. Thank you for watching.